Hiya, I'm Anne-Marie Powell and welcome to my garden. It's December and phew, don't we know it, it's really getting cold isn't it and we've got our jackets on. So it's about time to really start looking after those more tender plants that need their jackets on through the winter months. And I've got this gorgeous little baby Dixonia Antarctica here. It's in my front garden, just under the shade of the rhododendron trees, lots and lots of leaf moulds, so it should do really well here. But not if I leave it here unclothed. So I've got some little fleece jackets to put onto it. This is a bit oversized. You could cut it to size, but all I'm going to do is I've just folded it up. I'm just going to wrap my little darling all the way around the trunk and just putting the folded layers just to protect the canopy at the top. And I'll just fold it around and then we've got these handy little ties at the bottom and you just wrap it around and tie it. And that should keep this little fella happy through the coldest of winter months. But I need some things to make me happy in the garden. So come with me and I'm going to show you what I'm up to. In my back garden through the winter, I really like to make sure I've got pools of colour just to enjoy through the windows when everything else has kind of gone to bed. And the best plant for that at this time of year, one of the best, I think has got to be the hellebore. It's called the Christmas rose, nothing to do with Christmas, but often the flowers will be out by then and they'll flower right through till the spring. This variety is called Merlot and it's got these beautiful, very kind of purpley plum stems and you can just see one of the first flowers just about to unfurl here, really gorgeously upright and a deep marine. So I'm going to plant up this rather gorgeous zinc planter. And the way I do it, as I use the pot as a bit of a marker as to how I should, how deep I should be, just pop the plant to one side for a second and then get in with the compost. Peat free as ever. And you literally just put your compost all the way around the pot and that will leave a hole for us to just simply pop the root ball of the plant in. Okay, so we're pretty much there. So you can see in the pot surrounded by compost and just make sure it's nicely firmed down and then you can literally just squeeze your pot out. The hole is in intact. And then you just get your plant, make sure that the prettiest face is facing forwards and in it goes. There we are, I'll just backfill it with a little bit more compost just to knock out the air holes and it's planted in its new home at the same level as it was planted in its original nursery pot. It's looking really lovely that. So I'm just going to backfill it now with a little bit of gravel and that just means that the plant just has a little bit of a blanket to keep the water in, the weeds out, and it just gives a little bit of extra polish. Turn it around. So I'm just finishing off with the last handful of gravel. And don't you think that that would look brilliant as a Christmas gift? So, but I've got other ideas for this. So I'm going to add even more sparkle, just like I've started to do with the trees out here. You wait to see what they'll look like after dark. But for now, another little bit of winter interest for me is this fabulous camellia. And this one's called Dr. King. And I'm going to have this just on the step by my front door. Happy Christmas, everybody. 
have the most magical of times.